Hello YouTube, this is Magic Gecko 135 for, or back up in here for my first unboxing, and if you can't tell my tone of voice, I'm pretty pissed off right now. So, the video I made for this album initially when I unboxed it about an hour ago was, it says, sorry this video has been removed by the user and I could not for the life of me figure out how to get it on, so I'm refilming this. But as you can see, this CD, Eminem the Marshall Mathers LP, Eminem is my favorite rapper, but that's off topic right now, I'll talk about that in a second, is unboxed. There's no cellophane. I mean, I will show you the cellophane it came in. This is the cellophane. Um, there's a label right there. It says Eminem, rap. We got it at Best Buy for $9.99. My grandparents got it for me because, yeah, that's, they just wanted to, I guess. Eminem. She says Marshall Mathers, rap, cellophane. Whatever, dude. Alright. So, let's pretend that I unboxed this. It did have one of those stupid things on the top, too. Took that off in the other video I made. Anyway, let's get into it. So, I want to give a shout-out to the misanthropic one. Uh, he is my favorite hip-hop reviewer on YouTube. I'm not much of a hip-hop listener. I know I have been doing a lot of hip-hop videos on my channel lately, but I mostly, I am a pop-punk listener, a pop-punk head. I listen to Blink-22, it's my f favorite band ever, Newfound Glory, All Time Low, all those bands. I'll be doing reviews. I already did a Blink-22 review on my channel, but I'll be doing a couple more pop-punk reviews. I've just been doing a lot of hip-hop lately, because, I mean, I like hip-hop too. It's not my favorite, though. So, here's a CD. Hold on. So as you can see, there's a picture of Eminem. See, I don't know why it won't focus very well, but it's whatever. There's an E for Eminem, the credits, and all the record stuff. Um, there's a picture of him. He's got a D12 tattoo. If you guys didn't know, D12 was his band before he became a solo artist. Yeah. Yeah, he's now one of the biggest names in hip hop and doing well on his own. Let's take a look at the booklet. Um, some cool colors are here. Hopefully, throw this over here. All right, let's open this up. First page. It's got some pictures of him, kind of like working at a restaurant. He's got like a box of potatoes and trash, and he's throwing them in the dumpster. Credits for the song "Kill You." You can see that. Uh, Stoplights has Shady Lane on it. Dope ass picture of Eminem next to a car. It's a cool car. I like that. That's a cool picture of him. Uh, let's see. Credits for Stan and Paul. The skit and who knew. Picture of some rednecks house. A bunch of shit in the backyard, basically. Yeah. All right. Credits for Steve Berman, the way I am. Real Slim Shady, remember me. I'm back. Marshall Mathers. Uh, and then that is Ken Canet, Canif Skit. There's a picture of like dead body, I guess. There's a picture of a grave right there, Doug. If you guys are a fan of Eminem, I'm sure you guys have seen this picture before. This is one of his most famous pictures. It's everywhere. I've seen it everywhere, at least. And then you got the credits for the song Drug Ballad, Amityville, Bitch Please 2, uh, Kim, which is probably his most messed up song he's ever made. I love it, though. It's demented. <laughs> uh, oh, and then you got these pictures right here. Of him, I mean, there's some pictures of him as a kid. I guess these are all of him as a kid, I think. Yeah, looks like that. That's kind of cool. Guy from D12. Him. Picture from rapping. Just let you guys see these pictures. Yeah, the guys from D12 are in here too. 
Obi Trice, all those guys. Shout out to Obi Trice, one of my favorite hip hop artists besides him. Shows the executive producer, Dr. Dre. I mean, of course, he produced Eminem, Dr. Dre. Love you both. Yeah. Another picture of Eminem. Credits for Under the Influence. And then a dope picture of his band D12 that he was in before he became a solo artist. Pretty cool. Let's see. Bizarre. Of course, Eminem. We know him. Uh, con artist. Proof. Kunaba, I don't really know them. And Swifty. I'm not a big D12. I mean, I have D12 CD Devil's Night, and I'll be reviewing that sometime. But there, right, it looks like he's got a first prize Idaho Potatoes box. Sack of trash. There's him. Looks like he's working at a restaurant. About to go throw some stuff away in the garbage. And then there's this dude on a lamppost pissing on something. I don't even know. Kind of funny. <laughs> All right. And then there's a mo like a little poster here. It says Eminem, the Marshall Mathers LP. That's kind. That's that. I like that. I might rip that out and put it on my wall. See Eminem, the Marshall Mathers LP. And there's a picture of him. Another picture, just him writing. Pills. Uh, Looks like a bunch of song lyrics, I guess. And I'm back to that color thing. You guys saw that. Alright. Let's put this back in. God damn it. I hate this. I hate, hate this. Fucking pissing me off tonight. Tony Guy, guys. That's my unboxing. Of Eminem's Marshall Mathers, the LP. If you guys can't tell, Eminem is my favorite rapper of all time. Uh, other rappers I like are uh, Ludacris, Mac Miller, uh, Obi Trice, D12. I like that group. Uh, I don't even know. They're, I mean, I'm spacing on some stuff. The Game, I have one of his CDs. Stunt, things like that. I mean, I'm not a huge hip-hop head, but... The music genres I usually listen to are hip hop, metal, rap rock, rock, and hip hop and punk. Pop punk's my favorite. Anyway, if you want this album, go pick it up at Best Buy. It's only nine ninety nine, as you can see. It's in the rap section. And it's the PA Marshall Mathers. Yeah. Uh, I will be reviewing this album once I get. A more in-depth listen, listen to this album because I haven't listened to it in depth yet. Once I do, I will give you guys my review on this. Stay out. Stay looking for that review of this album. Anyway, YouTube. Peace.